events of my life that was shown to me by a little church, the first church that I was a senior pastor of some 15 years ago. Went to this church and they paid us a full-time salary. Thing is that we qualified for every government program imaginable on that salary with our family. The only thing that was good was well, I was making more than most of my other friends that just graduated seminary as well. We went through a few years, and that church had a little bit of money in the bank, but then they got hit with two things. They got hit with a roof that had to be repaired, and they had to put brand new windows in a sanctuary that was filled with windows. And these windows were stained glass, and they wanted to stain glass like they'd had before, and the man in the church helped to do that, so it wasn't the cost that it could have been. But it took away every resource that church had. And they got down to one to $2,000 in the bank account in that church. And they had been losing money and losing money and losing money with every month that had gone by. They weren't keeping ahead at all. This had gone on for some while and the money was just diminishing to almost nothing. When we came to December, we had a business meeting that December. And I'd been there about three years and they'd given small raises along the way. And they asked me to leave the business meeting. And I left the business meeting. And uh, after they spent about 45 minutes in a business meeting, they came out and I forget who exactly told me, probably the chairman of the deacons, but the decision they had made in that business meeting was to not just give me a cost of living increase because of December, but to do about a five-fold over that investment of faith. I said, what? What did you do? Well, it wasn't unanimous because the treasurer called me that night and said that it's going to break the church. It's going to break the church. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of brand new as being the, the guy. And our family, you know, was we definitely needed it. But you know, that church... From that point on to the time we left and beyond, I'm not aware of any time beyond, that God, they never, the giving was never under the need of each month. And by the time we left there, they had more than eclipsed what had been spent for all those repairs and all the things, you know, 20 some odd thousand dollars in, in uh, cost, and they were moving on up to even beyond that. They made a step of faith that God was blessing. We need to do that as a church. We need to do that as families. We need to do that recognizing that God, you know, taking time to ask God, how do I be faithful? If you are blessing me, am I diverting it to my purposes? You know, what is obedience to you when it comes to money? Recognizing we are caught up in a culture that can dizzy our really thinking as God would have us to think. And to take time to really get with God and to ask God what is obedience before you with regard to the resources that you put in my life. Let's bow.